program that allows 3,000 migrants from four countries into the U.S. each month, upheld by judge. The Biden administration can keep operating a program that allows a limited number of migrants from four countries to enter the U.S. on humanitarian grounds after a federal judge dismissed a challenge from Republican-led states. USD district judge. Drew B. Tipton said Texas and 20 other states had not shown they had suffered financial harm because of the humanitarian parole program that allows up to 3,000 asylum seekers into the U.S. each month from Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua, and Venezuela combined. That was something the states needed to prove to have legal standing to bring the lawsuit. Since the program was launched in fall 2022, more than 3 d people from Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua, and Venezuela have been granted parole and allowed to enter the country through January. Supreme Court extends freeze on controversial Texas immigration law. The Supreme Court on Tuesday extended temporary freeze on the enforcement of Texas controversial immigration law that allows state law enforcement to arrest and detain people they suspect of entering the country illegally. Now, with the new administrative orders in place, its implementation will remain paused through Monday. The Biden administration and others filed an emergency application with the Supreme Court on March 4, asking the justices to block enforcement of the law of federal judge in Austin. Texas had blocked the state government from implementing the law, but a federal appeals court granted a temporary stay of the lower court's decision and said it would take effect on March 10 if the Supreme Court didn't act. Biden's proposed budget includes $4.7 billion emergency fund for border migrant surges. President Joe Biden's budget proposal for 2025 includes a $4.7 billion emergency fund for border security to enable the Department of Homeland Security to ramp up operations in the event of immigrant surge. The contingency fund would let DHS into funds on an as-needed basis when the number of undocumented migrants crossing the southern border tops a certain threshold that is unspecified in the budget. If the money is not used to address a surge, the money would be transferred to the General Funds of Customs and Border Protection, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Their quest is likely to fall on defears among congressional Republicans who have already refused to fund $3.6 billion, the Biden administrator. A and ask for in an emergency supplemental request, a med at responding to our cord high number of migrants crossing the border. Friends, show us some love and smash a like button. It doesn't cost you anything. If you have an immigration problem or need a second opinion because you cannot get a hold of your own lawyer, schedule a meeting with our team. Share information with our CARES team and they will help you get scheduled with our legal team.